What should people know about a carpet pad? Because that can make a real difference in your price. So tell me a little bit about, like just educate me on the different the differences and choices and why you know uh, you might want to get more pad. Okay, um, with the carpet pad, there are different types out there. There are the solid memory foam, there are rebond pads, there are ones that have a moisture barrier on top, which if you have that pet that has accidents, it's always a good thing to have because it prevents any stain from going down into the carpet. Um, it basically has a film on the top of it and it prevents the liquid from going through the carpet into the pad, which you can get things out of the carpet, but once it gets down into that pad, there's no way to get that out. Um, and then there are different types of rubber pads. There are a lot of options out there. We have found that 90% of the time, I'll use that number for my best guess, um, we have found that an eight pound pad, whether it's a rebond or maybe someone wants a little more cushion, it's an all memory foam, or it's that moisture barrier pad, which helps prevent the liquids from going through the carpet into the pad, that that allows your carpet to wear what I would say to its maximum potential. So in other words, it um, you have enough cushion underneath to make it feel soft underfoot, but it's not working against the carpet so that you are wearing that carpet out prematurely.